it shines on the horizon It's leading me the long way home It's giving me a Alright folks, we are back out here in Little Debbie We mentioned to you when we was down in Florida Keys that she had been in the shop and uh, a little aggravated to be honest with you <laughs> But anyways, we, we took it in because the rear window here behind us was leaking and uh, you know I mean I know stuff happens it's a brand new camper but you know I understand you know things come up and so we you know we called Northgate we bought it at and you know they told us to bring it in immediately you know we store it inside until we can work on it we'll cover it up well covered up turned into almost a month yeah <laughs> and I know you know I hear all these horror stories from other campers about how long <laughs> when they have to take them in for repairs how long it takes but I thought it was a little long but you know as long as it got fixed it was during the winter time so I thought it's not a big deal and in their defense we told them we didn't have any camping trips planned so it wasn't a huge rush yeah and so you know we ended up taking off down to the keys without taking the camper uh, which was great I mean because it was too long of a trip to try to take the camper and hook up and you know remove it every night anyways but anyways we got back and uh, had some really heavy rain the last few days and guess what the leak is back and so we called them again, and of course they, they apologized and uh, you know told us to bring it back in. So we're taking her back in here in the next day or two, and they said they may end up having to replace the whole window. Let me show you what it's doing here. So here's the rear window, and then if I can get Vanna to pose for me here. <laughs> Basically what it's doing is it's, it's coming in somewhere we don't know if it's coming around this ledge or what it's either coming in around the track or around the edge because there's always water built up in this little um lip right here and then somehow it overflows and just puddles yeah, just right puddles, here yeah puddles right there on the countertop and so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense but what happened before was they said that they was going to replace the seal and so you know they had to order the seal they said they said look like when they took the window apart from the fact that the seal was cut a little short mm -hmm. and so they ordered a new seal got it in well then that seal was too short <laughs> so they ordered another one so they had to order another one that was part of the delay and that you know that's not really their fault uh, on that regard but anyways they got another seal in thought they had it fixed told us to come get it got back home with it hadn't had it here at home for just a few weeks yeah just a few weeks and honestly we had not been checking it every day or anything because we assumed it was all fixed yeah and so now we found out it's still leaking now one of my frustration is, is is not with anything in particular about the seal or how long it took but when we called them the first time we told them it was like you know I, 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 was try, I was trying to find out where it was actually leaking at and they said oh don't worry about it they said we got a thing we can pressurize it mm -hmm. we can pump smoke in it and it, you know, the smoke when it comes out will tell us exactly where it's leaking at. Every spot that it's leaking at, even if it's more than just the window. So I thought, well, that's wonderful. You know, we was really tickled that they had ways of, of, of finding stuff out here and, and checking things. Well, then after they got the seal in, they told us they wanted to keep it for a few more weeks because they wanted to leave it outside and see if it leaked. Which kind of, you know, is contradictory to being able to check it and see if there's a leak with smoke. Yeah. And but you know again we was in no hurry for it so like go ahead keep it let us know when we come pick it up mm -hmm. and so now when we called the other day they, they, he kind of made the same comment again he's like well you know maybe we need to leave it with us for a few weeks so that we can once we get the new window put in because this time they're going to replace the whole window as he wanted to keep it through a couple of good heavy rains to see if it leaks with them and so again so that kind of goes back to why did they tell us about the smoke so that's some of the questions we're going to ask when we go back and, I, and I'll tell you when we went and picked it up last time when they brought it out you know they bring everything around with a tractor when they brought it out they just kind of dropped it well I've got a pretty tall truck <laughs> and so I have one of those Anderson uh, things that go under the tongue mm -hmm. so that it kind of lifts it up um, so you know the jack can doesn't have to extend as far to get it up on my truck well they didn't put that under there they just dropped it in the parking lot said there you go go get it so i go back up to back up to it and uh i go to raise it and the battery's dead the battery's dead <laughs> so it wouldn't even, the tongue wouldn't even raise so it's like fine i'll get the truck close enough to it we'll plug it into the truck we'll at least get power to the jack 
So then we raise the jack all the way up and we're about an inch, two inches short of it going onto the ball. <laughs> so we have to go back in, tell them to come back out there with the tractor and they had to put some blocks and raise it up with the tractor, put some blocks yeah. under it so I can get up and under it. So those are some issues we're going to chat with them about this time. <laughs> And like I say, you know, I, you know, I can cut anybody a break. You know, I understand things happen. You know, I understand it being there for so long that the battery went dead. But you know, it would have been nice if they kept it plugged in, so that the battery wouldn't have went dead. Or if they had at least, you know, checked to see if it was going to be able to fit on our truck before they dropped it in the middle of the parking lot. Yeah, and like I said, they seem like really super nice folks up there, and we've been really impressed with them through the for whole sure. buying process. You know, even how quick they got us in last time because, you know, we we'll, we'll park it at a house. We, we don't have a roof over it here. And so, you know, they was very considerate of that. Like, bring it on in. We'll put it inside the warehouse here so at least it's not getting rain and not getting water in it until we can get the parts in. And so I, I really appreciated that, but I was a little, a little perturbed about the rest of it. So we'll let you know what happens here. <laughs> We're going to take her back up there Saturday morning, drop her off, and then uh, I'll kind of let you know what they said, and we'll go from there. But, you know... Just wondering, you know, just want to put it out there, you know, let you know kind of what's going on. We hope it doesn't impede any of our trips because we was planning on taking her out here in the next few weeks. And mm -hmm. so hopefully they can get it in, get it done quick enough that that doesn't pose us any problems on our next few trips. We sure hope so. But in the meantime, we're going to take her back up to Northgate RV and we're going to see what's going on with all these smoke and mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, here we are up here at Northgate. We're dropping off our little Debbie this morning. Uh, going to get this rear window leak fixed, hopefully this time. And uh, we're fixing to go inside here and talk to them, drop them off. And we'll let you know what the outcome is, see what they tell us. Hopefully we'll get little Debbie back really quick with no more leaks. Yeah, we got to get out on the road. We're itching to get back out on the road again, <laughs> yes. guys. All righty, we just dropped off little Debbie up at Northgate RV in Ringgold, Georgia. And uh, hopefully they will get it fixed this time. And I will say, you know, the guys up there, they really do seem sincere. Um, hang on, I can't do this and look at traffic. <laughs> it's too distracting. Too many things happening at once. <clears throat> okay, we just dropped off little Debbie up at Northgate RV in Ringgold, Georgia. And uh, hopefully they they have a plan of attack. I mean, they really went out there and went over our concerns this time and uh, really, really went in depth as to what their plan of attack is to try to get this fixed this time. And uh, again, the guys up there really seemed genuine. I mean, they, they was really apologetic uh, that it didn't get fixed the first time. And they're gonna try to get it back really quick this time. Yes, and we explained to them that, you know, we do have some trips booked out here and, you know, wanna get it back as soon as possible so it doesn't interrupt any of our plans with the camper and uh, they seem sympathetic to that and you know said they would try to get it turned back around to us just as quick as they can matter of fact they said they told us they was going to go ahead and start taking the wind out today to start trying to figure out what the what the deal is there and uh, so we hope we hope for the best you know we always do we always try to stay positive on the things we do and uh, and I did I told them guys we really do appreciate them up there um, you know I'm not going to go up there and uh, berate or belittle anybody because things happen and I understand that and again this is this really you know this is warranty work this is not something that they caused in the first place this is something they're trying to get fixed for so hopefully all that will go good we will follow up once we actually get her back and I hope we get her back here real soon uh, one funny thing is kind of funny Kim thought I was crazy but I told that's the guy, a normal thing I, I told the guy when he was up there and he was writing it up and everything I told him I said you know I said I really need your guys not to suck <laughs> he did and it was good it was it was a good laugh I, I wasn't being mean or, or anything like that well and his response was we really need not to suck too <laughs> <laughs> and so we had a little fun with it but again guys you know I urge you you know I, I see people that you know travel two or three states to buy a camper but if you could find a great place local for sure that's really what you need to do one is support your local economy but two that way you're not having to deal with a two or three hour drive every time you have a problem with your rv mm -hmm. especially when it's under warranty because if you buy it somewhere else your local place ain't going to fool with warranty work right. and i don't blame them i mean you know you didn't you didn't trust them to buy it from them why would they why would why would they try to help you when you need help so yeah 
uh, but so far we've really been impressed with this place I know we, we, we you know we do, we already have to take this back a second time um, I don't really think it's totally all their fault and so hopefully we can get it satisfied this time and uh, hopefully we'll have a good review for them and yeah. and uh, we'll go from there and get back out on the road soon yes we are ready to have little Debbie back and get on the road with her and in case you can't notice guys we're trying out a new camera here <laughs> And so, uh, so far I've been really happy with some of the test, test video and I've been done. I really like the color, so we're trying it out in the truck. We'll see how this little clip turns out. If you don't see it, then you know it didn't turn out, right? <laughs> but uh, hopefully we can do a review here for you here real soon on some of our, what we use the video week in and week out. And so any of you guys thinking about maybe documenting some of your travels, maybe it'll help you in that way. How's it going everybody? We are glad to report we got little Debbie back Yay! and uh, <laughs> got her back in record time actually. Uh, you know when we took it up there we was actually not scheduled for like midweek but uh, after talking to them about our concerns and everything uh, they uh, said they was going to go ahead and get the technician on it right then so they mm -hmm. actually started on it that Saturday we took it up. They actually gave us a call on Tuesday mm -hmm. and said she was ready because we did tell them you know we had some camping trips planned already and uh, we just didn't want it to uh, interrupt us during those trips. And so they got on it right away and got it fixed. They did end up having to take the whole window out and uh, resealed everything. And I mean, they had to put some new tape around it, but they did find the yeah. problem this time. They did pressurize it this time and mm -hmm. found the problem. And uh, so far it seems like it's gotten fixed. We have had a couple of rain since then and so far no, no water. problem yay and so we are tickled pink uh like i say they they i think i feel like they went the extra mile to to correct every all of our problems that we had and our, our frustrations sure. where we had to take it back and so I, I feel like they went above and beyond what they had to to try to make us happy and they lived up to randall's request to please not suck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think the guys will probably still get a big laugh out of that. But yeah. uh, but it's so nice, guys, to have a local dealership that you can trust yes. and you have good, you know, you have good faith in. Yeah. And uh, and so I feel like that's what we have with this dealership. Uh, I'll put their link down below. They're by no means sponsoring us in any way. No, but they're and, great uh, guys. Well, and we did have that little bit of frustration with them, guys. But, you know, they made it all right. Everything's great. And the camper's working great. They took care of everything. And, and they handled every single one of our concerns very professionally and did an awesome job. Yeah. And that's what I said before. You know, I know things come up from time to time. You know, there's always going to be issues. I mean, this is a... This is something that moves down the road at 60 mm -hmm. mile an hour. Things are going to shake and come apart and mm -hmm. things happen. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts in these. And so to have problems is not my issue. Just the, the, the service is, is what I, I like. And I feel like they, that they've done that. For sure. And uh, I, I guess we've just been, was very fortunate in, in our other camper. We, we, when you talk to other people, you hear about all these problems and uh, we, <laughs> we never had any in the other one. <laughs> And so this is the first time we actually even had to take something in for like warranty work and stuff. And right. so, so I guess, you know, that's just part of it. And we was very, very fortunate in the other one. Now this camper has been fantastic and we absolutely love it. Um, but I do think our old camper was somewhat of a unicorn. Yeah, I, I, I do. <laughs> and, but like I said, I love this camper. I love the layout of this camper. I just, it just brings a smile to my face every time I walk in this camper. For sure. I will make a quick note, guys. When they replaced that window, they, they replaced the seal the first time and it didn't fix it. And so Randall said this time they did take the whole window out. Um, they have started using a new kind of tape around those windows when they put the, the windows in the campers. And the guys up at, at Northgate said it's really not as efficient as using the old-fashioned putty tape. Right. And so that's what they used on this, and it fixed all the problems. So if you get a choice, I would highly recommend you use putty tape to seal your windows. Yeah, and, and that's something to think about. If you have bought a new camper in the last year, just know that they have changed that. Mm -hmm. So if you do start having issues, check that tape around the windows and maybe replace it with putty tape. Mm -hmm. And so that seems to have completely fixed our problem here. Yep, definitely. And, uh, we're, we're just tickled pink. We yep. can't wait to get back out on the road and get some camping under us. For sure. We're excited to get on the road. So you guys, don't forget, every week we've got a new video coming out. 
Sunday, 6 p.m. Make sure you click the subscribe button, click the bell, and it'll alert you every week as soon as the video comes out. Yep, for sure, guys. And uh, just a little side note, we've had some friends tell us that they've tried to subscribe and had a little issue. I don't know if they're not quite as as up on technology or if they're just having specific issues there but if you go to subscribe click on that link in the bottom corner of all of our videos and if you do not have a YouTube account it's going to ask you to create one those accounts are free they don't bug you they don't do anything you just have to set it up with a username and a password um, and then that way you'll be able to subscribe to our videos get notified and it helps us a ton yeah, it really t takes less than a minute to subscribe. And, it, and again, it's not like some of these other places where you subscribe and you get bombarded with the emails and all that. They don't you, don't, you don't get any of that unless you choose to, which is what checking the bell does. It'll send you an email and let you know that whoever you subscribe to has, sent, has released a new video so you can go check it out. Yep. And so it's really great. We hope you guys uh, subscribe and tune in every week. We love bringing you these videos. As always, if there's anything you'd like to see from us, mm -hmm. want to know about us, anything like that, drop us a comment. We always try to reply to every single comment or question we yeah, get. For sure. Thanks for watching, guys. We love y'all. See ya. Um. <laughs> you want me to close the door? Do you mind? Do you mind? She just wants to be famous. Mm.